I'm Danny with Yard to Table Gardens and I'm talking with you today about compost tea. Um, compost tea is a really great way to boost your soil's health. It's a way of brewing beneficial bacteria that will protect your plants, make them stronger, bring nutrients to them. They do a whole host of things um, and we really want to encourage microbial life in our soil. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself some rainwater. So with this very simple rainwater system that I've set up um, at my home, which is pretty inexpensive, it's just some 55 gallon food grade barrels strung together with some basic plumbing parts and 10 feet of gutter. Um, I'm able to catch about 300 gallons each season of rain. And then over the summer season, we'll use it to water the garden and keep the soil microbes alive. Um, so we have rainwater, and the reason that's important is because it's not chlorinated. So here's our bucket of rainwater. And inside I've got, um, this is my, my uh, aerator. And it's just like the kind you would put um, inside a fish tank to, to aerate it. And I've weighed it down at the bottom with a piece of broken terracotta pot. Um, we want the water to, we want the aerators to stay at the bottom of the water. So, um, and what that's going to do is it's going to breed the beneficial bacteria. So there are two types of bacteria. There's anaerobic, which don't like oxygen, and there's aerobic bacteria, which need an oxygen-rich environment. And we're going to encourage the growth of aerobic bacteria that are good for our garden, rather than anaerobic bacteria, which can kill our garden. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is we've got some compost, and we're going to use about a cup of compost. And so here's my measuring cup. Um, and you can also use worm castings from a worm bin if you have a vermiculture system set up. Um, they tend to be higher in bacteria because the worms break down the food scraps without using um, thermophilic decomposition or heat. So in a normal compost, if it's done correctly, the heat will actually end up killing the bacteria that are doing the work to break it down about halfway through the decomposition process. Um, so use a little bit less castings if you're going to do worm castings, but they're really great. Um, I don't have a worm bin at the moment, so I'm just going to use my normal compost. So I'm going to measure out about a cup, and I'm putting these in straight rather than in some sort of a, a, a sack. But if you want to use a sprayer to spray your compost tea, um, you can put them in like a uh, foot of old nylons or old tights uh, and then just stick them in the in the water like that as if it's a tea bag. I'm just gonna do some loose leaf tea brewing here. So there's our compost, all of our little microbes, and then we're gonna give them some food. So molasses is my favorite. Any basic sugar um, will do the trick. So if you have some honey or if you have some just refined sugar that also works. Unsulfured molasses, um, make sure it's unsulfured and you know as close to natural molasses as unprocessed as it can get. Um, so we're going to put about a third a cup or a quarter cup of molasses in there and that's going to take just a second to come out of the bottle. Um, so then the other important thing is that when you make compost tea it can only brew for between 24 to 48 hours. After that time the, the microbes begin to die, the food supply runs out, and that, that uh, high death rate can encourage uh, anaerobic bacteria to begin to produce, uh, even if it's still bubbling. So it's really important that you get this onto your garden within uh, that time period. So we're just going to add the molasses kind of rinse it off in there and try and get the rest of it. Um, it's kind of cold out, so it's a little stuck, that molasses in February. Um, but, so now we're going to let it brew. I'm just going to let it sit out here for about 24 hours, and then I'm going to take it to the community garden, and we're going to put it on our crops right around dusk. It's best to put the microbes on the soil um, either early in the morning or right before the sun sets um, or right after the sun sets 
they don't like the sun and can die pretty quickly if they get dried out. So giving them a chance, a good shot at getting down into the soil before it gets dried out is really important. Um, so that's it. Do this once a season and your garden will do great.